first at six, a suspected case of road rage turns deadly along a Kent County road. Police say two brothers were shot along M37. One was killed, the other critically hurt. It ended near Sparta Chevrolet just after 3 o'clock this morning. And that's where 24-hour News 8's Evan Dean is live after talking with detectives and the roommate of the man killed. Evan? Brian and Sue, who provoked who? And was this a case of self-defense? Those are the major questions remaining tonight. This, after a case of road rage, leads to a side-of-the-road fight, which turned ugly fast. Police say it all started here, near Kent City. Robert Chipman Jr. behind the wheel of his truck, brothers Don and Benjamin Dudley, and a female driver in another car. Total strangers on their way to work in the early hours when something happened. Who instigated who? Was, was one tail on the other? Was one flashing high beams? That was all said. There was some passing of the vehicles. I know that transpired during this short, maybe five, six miles. Um, we want to nail down what, what exactly was happening through our interviews. What is clear is this ended in the worst way. Police say both vehicles pulled off near the Sparta Chevrolet and some sort of fight ensued between the three men. That's when Chipman pulled out a gun and shot the brothers. Don was killed on the spot. Benjamin underwent surgery and is in the hospital in critical condition. We spoke with Don's roommate before he left for the hospital. When you first heard the news, what were you thinking? That it wasn't real, that it couldn't be true. Only 20 years old. The female witness drove off after the shooting. She called 911, and so too did Chipman. Police say he admitted to pulling the trigger. He was taken into custody for questioning, but later released and is not currently being called a suspect. One area that we're looking at is um, potentially self defense was involved, but there's a whole other side of the coin as well that we need to look at. We stopped by Chipman's home in Nuego County to get his side of it, but a man on the property asked us to leave. A number of questions still remain, and so too does the heartbreak, a young life lost overnight. He was a great friend, and I'm going to miss him a lot. Police don't believe alcohol or drugs played a role in either party. They're now checking the area for surveillance videos. They have the interviews with the female witness and with the shooter, but they say those don't entirely match up. For now, we're live near Sparta. Evan Dean, 24-Hour News 8. And Evan, in talking with police today, what advice did they share if someone gets involved in a road rage incident like this? Yeah, Brian, good question. Police say the number one thing to remember if you do get caught up in some sort of incident is never pull over your vehicle and get out of the car. They suggest calling 911, calling police, then driving to a well-lit area and staying in your car until police show up. Brian? All right, Evan Dean reporting live tonight. Thank you, Evan.